Hi, everybody. Uh, it's a little bit different this week. It's half term again. So it is. And it's Halloween. Yes. So there's lots going on this week. Yes. And Maximus is on a trip and we've been sent something. Yes. They made contact with us and asked us if we'd like to take a look at their product. So we'll unbox oh. this one in a minute. Um, but so this week we've uh, not really had time to do any van, have we? No. No. Uh, we've looked, we went <laughs> trying to find somewhere to live. Yeah. We went and saw the inside <laughs> of the house that we showed you the outside of in the last video. So uh, we'll put some of that up now. But that was. Uh, Do you know what? It, I bet in its heyday it was absolutely spectacular because. I bet if it was. Mm. If it wasn't empty for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a mess. But as you can see now, walking through, uh, it'd be a back to brick job. Yeah. It'd be a back to brick job and a start again and half of the... We just haven't got that in us at our age anymore, have we? No, not that much work. Not. It wouldn't be so bad, like we said last week, if we could move in and live in a room and then start turning rooms. Yeah, but you couldn't uh, have even moved in There's no in room there. to live in. No. No. There's, uh, everything needs sorting out from the, the top. Uh, the gable needs rebuilding in the back corner. Uh, the internal structure needs reinforcing. Um, but yeah, you can see for yourself as we're walking through now, uh, it's all lovely jubbly. <laughs> Do you know, it, I, I fell in love with it, I did, because because it, you know, it had so much potential, but it's just too much work. And, and sometimes you've just got to admit that to yourself, haven't you, and say, yeah. uh, basically, we've got a bar of our head and not our heart. So, yeah, we, we, yeah, we only want it to be for five years, so yeah. we can't be doing anything too major. We don't mind a small project that would take 12 months or so. Uh, to turn around uh, but yeah we just couldn't do that what are we doing um don't know have we been to look at that house yes did you like it no why not because that's too many messies it, well, it was too many messies oh yeah that that's that's the uh that's the answer isn't it too many messies anyway let's crack on um yeah let's crack on so they reached out to us and said would you like to take a look at our product? If you like it, would you like to make a review video? So I said, you can send me your product and if we like it, we'll talk about it. So we'll open it up and take a look first of all. Yeah, I think we started our channel, didn't we, with a couple of unboxings. Looking back at them now, we're, we're a bit, even, even sat in your own home, it's still a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Well, doing that's it. because you made it like a big studio. And it took four hours to set up, and then it was the hottest, the hottest day. room in the house. Okay, so FX one two F nine digital wireless backup camera with five inch monitor kit. I don't think this is what we said we were getting, but there's the monitor. And there's the camera. And there should be a second cut. There we go. Yeah, it is what we said we were getting, so that's good. Um, yeah, we've been looking at rear cameras and reversing cameras um, for a little minute now, haven't we? So mm -hmm. uh, we said yes, we'd take a look at this. What we'll do is we'll familiarize ourselves with it. On Friday, it was Shell's birthday. This was last week now, but Maximus was off as well because they had an inset day, uh, which was nice really, wasn't it? Because it meant he got to enjoy yeah. the day with us. Um, we had a jolly. We did, we had a little day out. Uh, we went across, to start off, we went to Lytham Hall, mm -hmm. which is where we got married yeah. four years ago on the 5th. Yeah. See, I remember that. <clears throat> I always remember all the days. It's Shell that forgets the date. She, she asks me every time what my birthday is when she's filling in the forms. No, just a year. Well, there you go. I remember, I remember. the year, the day, everything. <laughs> anyway, so we uh, we went for a little day out. We went to Lytham Hall, which is where we got married, and then we continued on to Blackpool, where we didn't have fish and chips because you need to remove <laughs> one of your kidneys for fish and chips in Blackpool now. £3.50 for a sausage. A jumbo sausage. Maximus won't eat chips, so like he likes two jumbo sausages and a bun, and that would have been for two jumbo sausages and a bun, nine pounds. Nine pounds for two jumbo sausages and a bun, basically a sausage butty, nine quid. 
it's so we went not to the worst we did we went to mcdonald's and just got a couple of burgers it's and now uh, pound 50 for fish and chips wasn't it 12.95 for 12 fish 95. and chips 3.95 for just a portion of chips and the woman wondered why i walked out once i'd send the actual price oh. list wow eh? i mean you know times are hard and all that aren't they <laughs> <laughs> not judging by the not judging by blackpool. blackpool no crikey everyone in spending 50 quid on three jumbo sausage chips and gravy no, uh anyway can't justify that anyway no. so we'll go and have a look at this and we'll yes. come back to you in a minute and we'll show you litham hall and the pigs and uh and blackpool Hi. so we'll see you in a minute where are you you're not even in i'm here there we go <laughs> so we just stopped at litham hall where we got married four years ago on the 5th of October. Oh, we did, yeah. It's a beautiful place. Absolutely stunning. It really is. And it's always lovely in autumn and it's a late change this year, so all the trees are still up. been a year since we've been here but it's still a stunning place looking back to the stables and the grounds a little full 360 so this would have been the main garden there's two of them out there anyway and there's the hall itself It's such a beautiful place. It's well worth a visit. A lot of people don't even know it's here. But, I mean, before we got married here, we didn't know all the shutters are closed downstairs. I mean, the wallpaper in the room we got married in, which is the room over here, um, we had this, I'll, I'll put some video up. I've got some video of the day, but basically we've got the main hallway there, which has got a lovely fire in. And we had a pianist in the corner there. And then in the room we got married in, uh, we had a violinist. Um, the wallpaper in there was hand painted. And then I was waiting in here for doing the bits beforehand, but there's the hall itself. This garden goes through into the kitchen garden. Uh, this is, we had the hall up there, the function hall up there. Um, we had our main event in there. Um, a lovely area. Look at this. It's, it's like something out of a uh, movie or Downton Abbey. Uh, Shell and I have got a picture in front of that door, holding hands, I think it's that one. So I'll put that up. And as we come along here, it's still looking really good, the garden. It's such a stunning place. It was such a lovely place to get married.
you've got the coffee shop there as well. You can come down and have a coffee and something to eat. And you can sit out here or you can sit inside. Uh, there's an antiques place here. This is the woodland. The woodland stretches from where we were at the front over there all the way around the side you can walk another squirrel over there now there's loads of wildlife uh, you've got the boat lake over there with the boathouse on i think they're restoring the boathouse aren't they yeah. and then yeah. as we go over here you've got another lake over here as well Birthday. A, birthday. a little wander around where you got wet, eh? Yeah. It looks like they're cleaning out. Oh, look, he's out. <laughs> Hello, are you all out? <laughs> I'm trying to get them in. <laughs> oh, oh my. Stubborn. You're, you big, you're stubborn? bigger than ever. Uh, wow. They are being very stubborn. Hello. And they're waiting for me to give them a treat. That's what it is. Another have, they, have they been eating pumpkins yet? We've had, I've had, yeah, three encounters with pumpkins. Which one's which? Um, Max is the. And Watson. Watson's the female. Oh, what happened to Max? He's in bed. Is he? Is he? I've literally put him in and I've had to lock the door because otherwise, if I treat these, they'll want to come out again, which is fine, but <laughs> I have to close the gate to him, so. Oh. Oh, no. So we've had a. Our route, so we're just shush you. To... They don't want to talk. Look, they don't. They know it's treat time. Oh, you're waiting for your treats, you two. Oh, that way your tails are wagging. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? Having a good scratch, look. They do. We've had a brush, you have a brush every minute. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're getting oh. carrots. <laughs> Bribery. Yeah. <laughs> Anything for a treat, yeah. I'm not proud. Uh, no. <laughs> not as a cost of living crime. No, definitely. Come yeah, on. Oh. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh. oh no. There's so much like dogs, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Oh, here we go, Max. Here it goes. I can hear him. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a he's so dog. vocal, isn't he? He is. He makes me laugh because he does everything but, you know. Well, come on, my love. Come on. <laughs> come yeah, on. there's another doggy coming. Drinking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Okay. No, yeah, that's not an ornament. Come on. Hello. 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 <laughs> you can't rush them, can you? You can't rush them. Uh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Get off me, snouts. <laughs> Feed me something nice. Oh, no. We're just pigs. The pig. The piggy. Piggy wiggy. Yeah. You talking? Oh, hello. What's your name? Freya. Freya. Ooh. You're the doll, aren't you? the jealousy there now, because you're talking to her. <laughs> oh, there is pure, the proper jealousy about it. Hello. You're the beauty. Full on. <laughs> right. Might we'll leave you to get him in. To try and get him in. Have fun. <laughs> Let him haul. Come and give it a visit. And we'll get on to uh, Blackpool. Yeah, with illumination. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
so we hope you enjoyed that little uh, montage I think I put a few wedding pictures in there as well and maybe a bit of the wedding video but yeah it was a lovely place to get married it's a lovely place to visit so if you're ever down uh, Lytham Way or over Lytham Way on the coast isn't it yeah. uh, the northwest then uh, yeah check it out have a walk around right okay FXT Technology sent us the email saying are we looking for a reversing camera and would we be interested in taking a look at theirs and uh, we said we are and we will take a look so here we are taking a look I've just opened it up now and had a quick familiarize with what's going on there's a couple of uh, power adapters uh, power supply leads uh, there's two cameras I wanted two cameras I really want one to face forwards and one to face backwards because you can permanently record there's a, a five inch monitor which has got a uh, SD card slot in, micro SD card slot in, and it comes with a 32 gig Kingston micro SD card in there. So that's what's in this particular one. So we shall, I've got the Bowdens out, and I think we're, we're overdue, aren't we, actually doing a proper review on the Bowdens, because we did an unboxing last year and it was it was awful, really. Uh, we, not the Bowdens. <laughs> no, it was. Yeah, we were terrible. We're not much better now at unboxing, to be fair, are we? But um, we did a unboxing of the Bowdens last year, and then it didn't really get a uh, a review a review off us. So we should do. But we a love year, it. Yeah. There we go. It's done. We've done a review. No, I think we should do a proper one, a year long. But I'm just going to use it now to power up, and there's the monitor powering on for the first time and also I shall use it to power up one of the cameras. Now this is wireless, this system, so let's get an aerial on there. There is a second aerial for the bigger camera unit and this looks like it has a built-in antenna if it doesn't have an external antenna. I don't know, I've not read the instructions. I should read them really, shouldn't I? Yes, but you're a man. I'm not really an instruction reader. I'm not Show me a man that is. <laughs> so, don't do this at home. <laughs> oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, it's only 12 volts. I'm just going to wire it onto there and give it a bit of juice, power it up so I can talk to it. There we go, camera's on as well. And it's got me straight away, so I don't need to do anything. It connected up straight away. Wow, there we go. I would imagine the rear one will be the same. I don't know how far away you can go with it. Obviously this can wire into a reverse light if you had it on the back or the other one can wire into a reverse light if you have that on the back. Uh, it's not the clearest picture I've ever seen, but it's set up for two cameras. Let's see what you can do. Uh, it's touch at the top, so. You can record permanently. Oh, there's the reversing. There we go. So you can set up your reversing lines for whichever camera you decide is going to be your reversing camera. You can mount one at the front, one at the back. You can mount two at the back, one looking down at eye level and one looking overhead, which we may also do as I've let go of the power now. So we may do one overhead and one at eye level and just have these two on the back and then get a dash cam for the front. Maybe. Um, and then we've got we can have permanent recording out of that one doing the higher view and it'll be a better rear view mirror for us as well won't it if we have that on permanent view and then just have this switching to this particular one when we're reversing in but you can i think you can set it up to do i'm just i'm surmising at the moment because i'm gonna have a proper play with it and a look i think you can connect it up to there you go to give you both cameras at once, one camera at once, split screens. I wonder how many cameras it can actually identify. Now that's just flipping the, uh, and that's recording. So you can set it to record and it'll record front and back if you set them front and back. There we go. So, yeah, that's fine. So that's a quick unboxing of this. It was the FX12 
F9. The FX12 F9. Which is that one that I'll put it up on screen anyway. Yeah. And it's up, it's up to you at the moment. I haven't done a full review. And what I'm going to do is do a proper review on the product because it's only fair, really. They've sent it us, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. But you will get an honest opinion. At the moment, it doesn't look so bad, does it? No. It just depends how it sits in the van. Uh, so the van, I am going to clean up the uh, the first side pod I've made and I may have a go at that tomorrow depending on the day I do have to do some work to the house uh, before it's finally ready for exchange um, and that's moving along and I obviously have to do work work as well so that's always good fun but yeah um, if I get to do it tomorrow I'll be putting that in the video as well, so I guess I'll be talking about that bit. So that may be before and it may be after this, I don't know. And now I'm just waffling to a camera. 